Thanks for your response to my very finale video. It was a YouTube video, but um, but it's, it's like up to 249 views. In this video, we're going to look at all the incredible similarities between Barry, Breaking Bad, and Better Call Saul. We've got Walter White, WW, and Barry Berkman, aka Barry Block, anti-heroes leading double lives. As a human doormat? While they're secretly violent, cold-hearted killers. You keep who you are a secret. You're trying to be two different guys at once. There's also the anti-hero James Morgan McGill, but he's not in the same ballpark when it comes to personality or murders. All three switch between their names for dramatic effect. Barry Block, is, is that what you said? It's Berkman. My name is Barry Berkman. Mr. Goodman, sit down and stay seated. The name's McGill. I'm James McGill. Say my name. Eisenberg. The alliteration is interesting. It only would have been closer if Barry's last name was Blanco. Barry also shares a name with an important Goodman character from both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I'm talking, of course, about Dr. Barry Goodman. That's not the only shared name. My name is Asak Schrader. This is no cocaine. My name is Takovic. Gene Takovic. Hi, I'm Gene Cousinow. Look at Lydia. She's out there all by herself. It's Mike. How's my favorite almost client? Chris, do it now. Chris. Chris? 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 I'd like you to drop your gun. No, 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 no. Pick that up. But names aside, we've got a bad guy who's gay, has a partner who is murdered in front of them, builds a memorial to that partner, and has a business whose name references their union. Oh, and also does a mass murder while making efforts to save people on their side. This is not a party. Okay, come on. Okay. Come on. Hold on. We've got a controversial blonde partner who gave up on her career. No thanks. Short stories. I said that if eventually I have enough good ones that maybe I'll try and publish another collection. Those really didn't sell. I'm no longer an attorney. And who can be very emotional. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! And in two cases, assumed a new identity as a boring brunette. There's the son who just wants a decent meal. I want real bacon. No, not this fake crap. Too bad. Eat it. This smells like band-aids. Eat it. Worked really fucking hard on that and instead is given alcohol by his parents. Hey. Okay, sweetie. Whoa. Drink your juice. What you doing there? There's the experienced handler that sometimes works with the main character, sometimes against. Well, here's what's going to happen. This is what you do. The officer on the trail. Turn this off. Turn it off. W.W., my star, my perfect son. I'm sorry. I've decided Jean is the Jesse of Barry, whose chance encounter with the main character in the pilot was the start of their double life. Some straight like you giant stick up his ass all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? Jean M. Cousinow. I look forward to this journey. They both have a J-named girlfriend who is killed off early in the series after threatening to expose the main character. How do I know she'll keep quiet? I guess you don't. We're not the same, Barry. Because I'm a cop, and you're a fucking murderer. There's the colorful representative. What the hell happened to you? Mr. Acker would like to be paid $4 million for his pain and suffering. This is opening offer. 400000 But I think I can talk him way up. The beloved character whose name is unfairly dragged in the mud. What if I told you that in your hour of need, the person who was supposed to be on your side was impaired? My name is Jean Cousinow. I killed her. There's the gun supplier, the crime bosses. Juan Bolsa is probably Goran Pizar and then Batir. Batir was also kind of like Don Eladio, but Batir's boss Andre is probably a closer match. There's the handsome crime family member and his older relative. Blood for blood. In fact, both of those elders are taken out by a bomb. Wi Fi off. There's the loved one who freaks out when the main character takes shortcuts in their same profession. I have been doing this for way longer, and I think you'd agree that I am way better. You're not a real lawyer. University of American Samoa, for Christ's sake, an online course? What a joke. I worked my ass off to get where I am, and you take these shortcuts and you think suddenly you're my peer? 
You do what I do because you're funny and you can make people laugh. I committed my life to this. Walt did this too. Did you learn nothing from my chemistry class? Finally, there's the character they were going to kill in season one, but the actor was just too good. Speaking of actors, Noho Hank is really not in the final season of Better Call Saul. That's a different actor on the left. But these fathers of sons who made tragic choices are the same actor. As are these old pros. And holy crap, it's Howard. We'll just have to make a run for it. With two whole lines in Barry. Thanks, babe. In the pilot of Breaking Bad, Walt gets the idea to cook meth, which he does thanks to his reunion with Jesse. Pinkman? and even kills someone before the pilot ends. In the pilot of Barry, which starts with him killing someone, Barry gets the idea to start a normal life as an actor, which he also pursues right away. Both pilots end with the main character accepting their new life, with sirens in the background due to something they did. All three shows involve criminal organizations, of course, even Matt. This lends itself to lots of similar action, such as hiding money in the ceiling, the main character going to jail thanks to getting caught by an elderly legendary actor, Hey Barry. Yeah. I trusted you. I got you. The main character being responsible for prison murders, a tearful admission about giving the main character's money to an older associate, $250,000. For who, Barry? Screw you. I gave it to Ted. Interrogations, do you, Jean, love my daughter? I don't know what you want me to say. Tell me again. What? Tell me again. Prisoners on a bus. All three main characters get hospitalized. A main character is responsible for his own son getting shot. I broke my boy. Also, Barry reluctantly shooting Chris felt a lot like Walt and Jesse reluctantly shooting Gale. We've got absurd scheme ideas. Like replace her dog with a slightly different dog or, you know, change the furniture in her house so she thinks she's shrinking. We break into his house, replace all the fluffy toilet paper rolls with single ply. Ouch. Hit him where he lives. <laughs> or... Whatever tanning lotion he uses, we replace it with sunblock. He gets in his tanning bed and uh, waste of time. And trying to protect their partner from going down this road. Way to Sally, break into Sally, the car. You Sally, you don't want to do this. Kim, doing this, uh, it's not you. Okay, you would not be okay with it. Punching or kicking inanimate objects. <laughs> A scary speech with Barry really one upping Gus. I fucking kill I, you. I kill your fucking kids. I kill your fucking I would wife. Kill your son. And I kill your fucking mom. I will kill your infant daughter. We've got elevator traps. So you have your own show? A nacho pun, both of which would have worked extremely well in Better Call Saul. Nacho is nacho man. Comprendo? Five bucks to go to Del Taco. He used to be alive, but now he's not, Cho! Is that from the bar? Workers treated to some fun and games in a warehouse. Stashes of cell phones. There's a huge breakup. No, 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 hey. <laughs> Sally! I know this is crazy, but if I could just stay here. Let's go. And a harsh cut to black time jump in the middle of the final season. Really? And killing off Cristobal right before the Barry time jump was similar to killing off Howard and Lalo before the Better Call Saul time jump. Hey, stop it, boy, stop it! What's going on? He hit me, Dad. You in front of me! Yeah, well, he's never heard of Call of Duty. He's a freak! Go home, John. Just go home. Travis, come with me. Like Breaking Bad, Barry doesn't show how characters turned fugitives evaded a manhunt or how they set up their new identities, at least until Netflix releases a sequel. Maybe that means in 10 years we can expect a similar movie that fills in these gaps. And if Bill Hader goes down that path, maybe very soon we'll hear about a prequel. Finally, we've got publicity bringing a character back from a remote area to seek revenge. Whatever he became, the, the sweet, kind, brilliant man that we once knew. Long ago, he's gone. Whether it's on TV, in a newspaper, or on the internet. Who's Barry? What? They're making a movie about us. I'm going 
going to have to kill Koos now. There are a lot of style similarities with all three shows, even Barry's slightly cut off intro music like Better Call Saul. The tone of all three shows gradually gets darker over time. It's Hank. I know it's Hank. I'm Hank. You got a brain the size of Wisconsin, but we're not going to hold that against you. <laughs> I don't even know who I'm talking to. Sometimes it gets a little jam. You just got to force it. Yeah. Oh! We get important conversations that the audience can't hear. Fuck the algorithm! And you know, as you were saying that, I thought... Please sit down. We get fixating on a minor flaw while distraught, which is oddly similar in size, shape, and screen position. Mr. White? Okay, Mr. Kusino. Stop signs trying to warn the main character to stop going down Bad Choice Road. The scrolling in this mesmerizing grocery store scene seems to be an exact match for this Better Call Saul scene. Barry is a master of the one -er, a long, uninterrupted camera shot. It's often a slow, creeping movement that gradually reveals new information. A lot of the scenery looks extremely similar between all the shows. An obvious one is all the shots in the desert. The place where Janice dies in Barry reminds me of the place Mike dies in Breaking Bad. Better Call Saul's iconic glass blocks sort of make a subtle appearance in Barry. They're also strangely a Microsoft logo. There are office trailers with wood paneling, walking into creepy flickering hallways, and these shots have a lot of similarities. We looked at the finale in depth in a separate video, but to recap, the finale's got Barry attempting to go out in a blaze of glory like Walt. Lord, I'm gonna die tonight. Hank robs him of that opportunity, and Gene robs him of the opportunity for a Saul-style ending. I'm gonna turn myself. Morwen Darkstar commented on my video that Gene actually gets Saul's ending. He gets to make things right, so to speak, for his love, and goes to prison because of that. The finale also has Sally's Walt-style confession. I'm a bad mother. I did it for me. A huge shootout with Fuchs falling on John to protect him like Walt did with Jesse. Speaking of Walt and Jesse, I completely missed the parallel between their final glances and Barry and Fuchs's final glances. Fortunately, Delty Coco called me out and then others pointed out my omission as well. Thank you and keep the comments coming everyone. Back to the other similarities, we've got Sally playing the role of Kim. You need you to should turn, turn yourself in. in. And the most glaring parallel... <gasps> Hank getting a very Walter White death. I got what I and that covers it. I want this to be a definitive list of similarities, but that can only happen if you leave comments with ones that I've surely missed. So please help me out by commenting and subscribing. You know the drill. There is a link. To YouTube. You click on it. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll start doing that. <laughs>